Good morning, MBTHS. Welcome to the February edition of MBT News. I'm Gage. And I'm Ryan. It's been a whole month since we've been on the air. How's it going? It's going. I feel you. Well, I really look, you really got it on today, Gage. What do you mean by that? I mean, I like your outfit. I wear this every time, but thanks, I guess. Well, speaking of outfits, uh, let's see who else got it on around the school. Thanks, guys. Today, we'll be going around the school and asking students what they're wearing and where it is from. Okay, so I'm here with... Giselle. And what are you wearing today and where is it from? Okay, so I'm wearing the Skims. This is the Skims set. This is, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's just a fuzzy Skims. And I have the matching pants with it. And I also have the Ugg boots, you know, with the little bow tie in the back. Okay. And the coach bag, you know, can't, can't, you know, miss out on that. <laughs> yeah, I like the way it matches. Thank you. What are you wearing and where is it from? Um, uh, the sweater I'm wearing, I made it. And these are Carhartt pants, and then I have 97s on. What are you wearing and where is it from? Um, I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> and it's from Rum Wee and Hand Me Downs, basically. And I have some bracelets from my cousins, and my glasses are also from Sheen. Okay, I like it. Thank you. What are you wearing, and where is it from? I am wearing a blazer from Overlook. I'm also, the pants I'm wearing are from Overlook as well. Um, and the turtleneck that I'm wearing along with it is, once again, from Turtle, um, sorry, from Overlook, man. Um, the shoes I do have, I got it from Spencer's on like sale, so it was like only $30. Okay, thank you. What are you wearing, and where is it from? Okay, so my shoes are from Converse, my pants are from Madewell, um, blazer is from Zara, um, necklace is Kate Spade, and top is Abercrombie & Fitch. Thank you. What are you wearing today and where is it from? Okay, so I got this hoodie from Boohoo Man, like This vest is from my father, these pants I fit with them, um, Yeezys from GOAT, and oh, the beanie is from K&G, and the beats from Kessel. Thank you. What are you wearing and where is it from? Um, I got this from Forever 21, and then I got these two items from Shein, and then I have my Uggs on. Those are some elephants from Student This Week, and... I hope you got some inspiration, and let's get back to the studio. Thanks, James and Carla. Hey, it's February. You know what that means? What? It's Valentine's Day is upon us. Love is in the air. What are your plans? Hmm. I might have a couple options. Ladies, man, I like it. Hmm, yes. Well, uh, let's go see what other people have planned for Valentine's Day. Thank you, guys. Now, as y'all know, Valentine's Day coming up. We're going to go around today and ask people what their plans for Valentine's Day is. So what's your plans for Valentine's Day? Spend time with my girl and do, like, some, all, some nonsense and stuff with that uh, curricular and um, have a good time. Thank you. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Um, this Valentine's Day, I'm just going to hang out with my friends and my sister and stuff. And who's your school crush? If not, who's your celebrity crush? Um, so my crush is Lil TJ. Um, definitely. Thank you. So what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Nothing. And who's your celebrity crush or your school crush? Well, my celebrity crush, I don't know, I don't know his name, but like, he played in Titans, so that's my celebrity crush. And do you have a school crush? Maybe. Who's your school crush? That's, that's compromised information. Yeah. Thank you. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? I don't know. I might take my grandma and my mom out. And who's your school crush? If not, who's your celebrity crush? Uh, my girlfriend is Corey Raven. She got like 500K on the gram. Yeah, that's me. Thank you. All right, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? I'm going out with my boyfriend. And if you, uh, who's your school crush? If not, then who's your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush is Lil Durk. Thank you. So what you doing for Valentine's Day? Um, for me, I don't really got nobody right now, so I'm probably just going to be in the gym working on my game. I feel you. And who's your celebrity crush or your school crush? Celebrity crush? I had to go like Zendaya. School crush? You know what I'm saying? I've just been sticking to <laughs> Thank you. What you doing for Valentine's Day? Man, I'm chilling. I'm gonna go buy my mom a house. <laughs> and who's your school crush or celebrity crush? Um, my celebrity crush is Lizzo. Um, my school crush, I don't even know. Thank you. So, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? 
Yeah, you know, I don't got no drum, but I'm going to take my dukes out. Yeah, no, I feel you. And who's your school crush? If not, then who's your celebrity crush? I don't got no school crush. Yeah, celebrity crush. I ain't gonna lie, it's too many. Yeah, I feel you. Thank you. It's a lot of everybody has a lot of different plans for Valentine's Day. Now back to the studio. Oh, uh, thanks, Justin. Uh, Gage, what are you doing? I'm actually searching up the history of Valentine's Day. Oh, you find anything? Uh, no, it's actually pretty boring. Oh. You know, our teacher of the month is the history teacher. Really? I might go there to learn some interesting facts about Valentine's Day. Let's go to Reese with the new teacher segment. Thanks, guys. Today I'm going to be talking to Ms. Angrelli, who is one of the new teachers here at MBTHS, who teaches freshmen and juniors for history. Let's see what she has to say. Ms. Angrelli, how many years have you been teaching for? Um, I've been teaching for two years. Um, this is only my second year teaching. I graduated college in 2020. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I grew up in Robbinsville, New Jersey, right down 130. I went to Notre Dame High School, and I went to Arcadia University, where I majored in history and minored in secondary ed. And uh, how do you feel about teaching at North Brunswick so far? Do you enjoy it? And like, how do you feel about like the students? And like, do you like them? <laughs> um, I like it a lot so far. The students are really cool. Um, we're getting along great, and I think there's a great sense of community here. So I'm really enjoying it so far. So you're also the new softball coach. Are you excited for the season? Yes, I'm super excited. I played four years at Arcadia University. Um, I've coached two years in high school so far, and this is my third year coaching varsity softball, so I'm super excited for the season. Do you have high hopes for this team? I do. I think we are going to improve um, tremendously throughout the year compared to last year, and I think it's going to be great. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ms. Angrelli. I hope you enjoy teaching here at MBTHS. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Reese. You know, I'm quite hungry right now. Me too. What's your favorite food to eat? Mm, I like chicken. What about you? My favorite is pasta. Mm -hmm, I like that. I heard Chef Ligori makes a real good dish. Let's go to him. Thanks, guys. On a new segment called Cooking with Andrew, today we're going to be making homemade pasta, specifically fettuccine, with some vodka sauce. So let's go do it. All right, so we need one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one and a half teaspoons of salt, six eggs, room temperature. If not room temperature, you can put them in hot water, and three and three quarters cup of flour. So today, we're going to be using a KitchenAid mixer. So you got to put the flour in the bowl, make a little divot in the middle, and put the eggs in the middle. So now you have to mix all the ingredients together with a fork until the dough is formed, and then you're going to put in the KitchenAid for about 8 to 10 minutes on low power. Now that we've finished kneading the pasta, it should be a nice consistency, and you should wrap it up in plastic wrap for about 30 minutes. So once the pasta is done resting, you're going to flatten out the pasta so it's easy enough to fit in the pasta maker. This part is what makes the pasta even thinner, and this part is what makes the shape of the fettuccine. So now you have to flatten the dough to make sure that it fits through the machine and then you can put some extra flour on it to make sure that the dough doesn't get sticky. Now that the pasta is nice and thin, we're going to be putting it through this pasta maker. This part makes it thin, we're going to be putting it through it at least six times and then we're going to progressively keep making it thinner and we'll get right back to you when we're going to make the fettuccine. So when you're flattening the dough, the first six times you have to fold it after each time. If you don't do this, then the pasta will get too thin and it won't be able to be shaped the correct way. After you fold it six times, you put it through the machine eight more times. Yes. Then after that, you put it through the part of the machine that makes the pasta shape. After making the fettuccine, you put on this mechanism over here to air out for 20 minutes. And in that 20 minutes, have some water to a boil. And maybe next time on the next episode of Cooking with Andrew, I'll teach you guys how to make some vodka sauce. Now that the water is boiling, we're going to put the pasta in for about three minutes. This type of pasta cooks very fast, so you're going to take all of it and put it in. And you should be stirring right away because then it sticks to the bottom. So we'll see you in three minutes when we drain it.
So the final product is we got the fettuccine, the bucket sauce, with the bucket sauce on the side, Parmesan cheese. You can add it, you don't gotta add it. Do what you want. You got the salad on the side too. And yeah, bon appetit. I hope you enjoyed cooking with Andrew and we'll see you next time back to the studio. Who knew that Andrew could cook? I know, I have my doubts. Yeah, same. So I do wish he brought us some of that pasta for us to taste. That would've been good. You know who else loves pasta? Who? The wrestlers. Has a lot of carbs and provides energy. Hmm, I did not know that. Although what I do know is that the next segment is gonna be the NBTHS wrestling team. Let's check in with Christopher. Hey guys, and today we're gonna to be interviewing wrestlers, asking them how's the season going and what their favorite move is. I'm here with Coach Davila and uh, we're here to ask you for wrestling. How's the season going so far? The season's going pretty, uh, pretty well. Right now, um, we have a lot of new blood. So we have a lot of new guys learning how to wrestle and things like that. And they're showing up to practices, working hard. We have a lot of new female wrestlers and a lot of returning female wrestlers. The females did really well at counties. We had a lot of metal placers in our heavyweight one counties and was number one in the county, our female. And we're about to head into uh, male counties this week. Okay, okay. Right. I'm here with Audrey. Audrey, how's the, how's the season going so far? It's going really good. Very interesting. Okay, Audrey. Second question. What's your favorite move? Um, elbow pulls, sweep single. Okay. I'm here with Jomar. Jomar, how's the season going so far? It's been going good. I've just been trying to find my groove recently. You know, get to my attacks, you know, finish, and, you know, win my matches. Okay, next question. Uh, what's your favorite move? It's got to be a lat drop. Honestly, I love that move. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm here with Kiara. Kiara, how's the season going so far? It's going okay. I got injured first month into the season, so, yeah. Okay, and uh, second question, what's your favorite move? Fireman. Fireman? Okay. I'm here with Amaya, and Terry, we're going to ask her, how's the season going so far? Um, It's going good. Like, I'm sad because it's almost ending, so, yeah. Okay, and... uh. We also want to know what what are those pins mean on your arm? Oh, these you talking about? Um, so these mean that I got two pins. Um, so yeah, I got two pins. Like you know, you get pins when you get, you know, pins. I'm not explaining it, but it's self-explanatory. Like if you pin somebody, you get a pin. So yeah. Okay. Pretty self. All right, I'm here with Will, and uh, how's the season going so far? Season's going great. You know, undefeated going into like the third week of the season. Not too shabby. Okay, and uh, second question, what's your what's your favorite move? My favorite move is Fireman's Carry. Fireman's Carry, okay. I'm here with Emiliani. How's the season going so far? It's good. We've had seven girls placed in GMCs this year. Um, and right now we are working our butts off for regions that are in a, that's in a couple weeks. Okay, second question, uh, what's your favorite move? My favorite move has to be headlocks. Okay, I bet. Got some pretty nice responses back to the studio. Thanks, Christopher. You know, I could probably be a wrestler myself. Me too. Sounds easy and fun. Hmm, we may be able to join the wrestling team next year. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. Come on, man. Well, before Gage starts living another fantasy, let's go to Mr. Neller with Principal's Corner. For this month's Principal's Corner, I will be brief as I am giving my time to our Black Cultural Alliance Club. This month at MBTHS and throughout the country, we are recognizing Black History Month, which is held February of each year. Throughout MBTHS this month, you will be hearing morning announcements, honoring and recognizing the accomplishments of many great uh, African Americans throughout our country's history. You also will see a display case set up for Black History Month in the Commons. I hope you will check that out during your lunch periods. And yesterday, uh, we held our first ever Civil Rights Ceremony Assembly Program at our school. Later this month, we will culminate Black History Month with our annual BCA celebration that will take place Friday, February 24th in the Commons. I hope you will come out and enjoy that program. But in the meantime, I'm going to turn it over to our Black Cultural Alliance Club as they present a video to you on Black History Month. Have a great day.
Harmony means a lot to me because it means recognizing the people in the past, present, and more to come. Black History Month means to me embracing our culture and empowerment. Black History Month is a time where I can embrace more of my culture and more empowerment and to unapologetically be me. Black History Month means to me uh, celebrating us Black people and our accomplishments and um, it inspires and lifts people up. Um, what it means to me is recognizing the struggles of the past to get to where we are today. You know, just to, uh, you know, openly, just openly accept myself and just be me. Basically, Black History Month to me means that we get a chance to showcase who we are in the culture and us as people and that we are truly equal. It gives us an extra, like, month of empowerment and I really enjoy the month because I get to live more in the inspiration. You know, I'm just learning about my people. Happy Black History Month! Hi, my name is AJ. And my name is Jamie. And we are the president and vice president of Black, Black Cultural Alliance, aka BCA. And Black History Month is an annual celebration where we honor the past, celebrate the present, and inspire the future of Black people. BCA is a club catered towards the Black student population that allow them to engage in meaningful conversations and activities that teach, entertain, and provide opportunities for them to connect and grow as people. We work to uplift our peers and our community by providing a safe space and taking the necessary steps to make a change. BCA Night is Black Culture Alliance's annual Black History Month celebration where we provide food, performances, and entertainment for the community to enjoy. The night consists of a fashion show, a step show, a wild and out segment, and much more. Feel free to invite your friends, family, and even your teachers. Pre-ticket sales will begin on Monday, February 20th in the comments during lunch. But don't worry, tickets will also be sold at the door of the BCA Night event. BCA Night will be held on February 24th at 6 p.m. in the comments. We hope to see you there. You know what? This was very fun, Gage. Indeed. But before we go, let's read some of the school's upcoming events. Friday, February 10th is the Class of 2023 Movie Nights at 7 p.m. Tuesday, February 14th is Valentine's Day. Show your boo some love. Thursday, February 16th is the TEDx event in the auditorium at 6 p.m. Friday the 17th is a 1212 closing and school is closed on Monday the 20th. On Wednesday, February 22nd, the school versus staff basketball game will be played at 2.30. Is Black Culture Alliance's Black History Month celebration at 7 p.m. March 3rd and 4th is the Rockathon and parent-teacher conferences will be coming up sometime in March. Lots of good stuff. We should do this again sometime. Think so? Sure thing. It was pretty fun. Until next time, MBTHS. See ya.